Hey guys, welcome to another week of sales, and uh, it's been a pretty good week, I must say. Um, I've had some good sales, and uh, this is kind of working in reverse order. So sales I had yesterday, they, they've all basically all gone out today. So um, yeah, so I sold this Romania uh, Adidas Home football shirt, genuine uh, genuine size medium men's 2008-2009 shirt, really really good condition, and um, you can see by the quality of the badge and stuff, it was. It's probably never been worn, to be honest. That's a terrible picture. But, uh, yeah, so it sold pretty well. £13.99. I paid £3. And it went to uh, Spain. Uh, so that was pretty cool uh, with a GSP program. Next up is this huge bundle of Scooby-Doo stuff. Uh, I paid £4.20. And I got all of this. I got something else that I'm going to show you. And also a talking... Not a talking, sorry, a hide-and-seek Scooby-Doo. Um, the hide-and-seek Scooby went for £6 or something, um, a few, I think a week ago. Uh, this sold, when would it have been, on the 4th, so yesterday. And that basically consisted of the, um, the fairground. You had the fire engine and like loads of little figures and also a fort. It, it, there was bits missing, um, but I did explain that in the profile. Uh, sorry, in the description, and I accepted an offer of £25 on that, uh, which I was happy with, £25. I paid £4.20 for the whole lot, so £25, and that went to, I can't remember where that's going to, but it's UK-based. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty good sale. Uh, I sold this figure. This figure was in a bundle of, well, basically, I got almost like 80 figures, 70-plus, 80 figures, for one pounds plus postage of four quid uh, on eBay, I won it at auction, and uh, I've all—I mean, basically, I've sold so many of them this this week, and I uh, sold this guy. I think I accepted four pounds plus postage on this guy. He was missing his wings. Uh, you get wings that clip on the back. Um, it's not broke, but but the wings just clip in. So if you're if you've already got the wings and the figure is like broken then this is a great ideal replacement figure and I think I did actually put you know would make a great replacement wings missing so uh, so yeah that was uh, that was pretty decent that was four pounds and this was the, the mystery machine was the other item in my Scooby bundle that I purchased um, I actually accepted I believe it was ten pounds plus postage on this so that was I was quite happy with that um, I actually bought the figures separately, but I, I really I got them so cheap on eBay, and uh, I just got a bunch of figures and I bundled it up with the mystery machine, and I kind of made it look like they were doing something, and yeah, it was all good, all good. Uh, the mystery machine did have some issues. Obviously, it has got some rips in the uh, label. I'm not sure why that one's not showing up, but yeah, so I did have some rips and stuff in the label, which I'll put down here. Um, you know, still a lot of play, but he's in great condition. Um, yeah, so that went for ten pounds. I sold these finally, um, six pounds ninety nine with two ninety nine postage, and it was seven mugs of Nestle and um, Cadbury's. And uh, I highlighted a little issue there, but uh, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of the mugs to be honest. They're they're bulky, they break easily, and I don't really get much for them. So I'm going to be skipping the mugs unless they're pretty special ones but uh, yeah seven pounds I mean I, I would have paid f between 20 and 50 p each on these so yeah there's still profit there uh, I sold this this was actually a loss uh, I spent 10 pounds on this and uh, it was a real dud even with the two games and the manual uh, because it's the leaps to one everyone was after the leaps to two um, so yeah I actually sold at a loss but of course the profit that you make on everything else kind of makes up for it so you don't really lose, you just on this one item. Uh, I lost about £4.01. One pence. So, yeah, a bit of a shame because I thought it was great when I saw it. But, you know, it's all about part of the learning curve. And it works, it's all in working condition. So, yeah, there was that. Uh, this one, these two guys, uh, as you can see, I made it look like they were kind of in a fight. And, you know, I showed the two main characters there with a the flash and without. Um, yeah, they sold pretty well. And... Uh, these were part of the, the big figure bundle that I told you about just a minute ago. They were in the uh, the lot for £1. 
sold these for 9.99 they do say this guy on his own sells for usually about 11 uh, but to be honest this guy was missing his hat and there was none on eBay of him and I didn't want to just have it sitting there for ages so I just bundled them up got a quick 10 pounds for it and I'm happy with that and also that's actually going to Holland and I did that non GSP because the buyer sent me a message saying you know they wanted to charge her like 16 pounds uh, postage on these and would I mind doing them myself and I did it myself went to the post office and I think I was charged like five quid um, and that was actually including this one that she also purchased which is a light up version and I had that at ten pounds and she bought them both she bought both uh, figures so that was pretty good um, I showed that obviously the, the light up still works in the dark and uh, and the light They're not great pictures but you, know, you get the idea so but yeah so she actually bought both of them so I managed to bundle them both up into the same box so yeah almost 20 quid for those three figures once again it came out of the one pound bundle um, I sold my four vintage turtles with shredder and splinter uh, who are also vintage but they were missing items uh, yeah I'm, I'm I was expecting a little bit more to be honest I was I thought maybe around 40 at first but no one was really touching them and I was getting offers of 20, 25 um, all, all the time. And I was thinking maybe that's really the, the markup. So I listed it for £29.49. And I got an offer within an hour of £25. So to be honest, I took it. I, I spent £18 on these, but that was with other figures. So I'm already up by about £20 on these by selling this lot. So I'm all right with that. Um, they don't go for as much as I was expecting, but still profit, still good money. So yeah, I'm happy with that. That's 25 plus 299 postage. Uh, another lot, two lots of Trivial Pursuit. To be honest, I I made pretty much nothing on these after postage. Um, they're just they're lingering around so so much now. And I just want rid of the normal trivs because there's just no value in them. So uh, yeah, that was just got out the door. Uh, I sold this bundle of um, uh, Lego Bionicles. I had them up for £20. I actually ended up taking an offer of £17.99 plus £2.99 postage. I paid £5 for all of these. And it was one job lot that I purchased. Um, all had their manuals, all complete. And yeah, so I sold them for £17. Once again, not much money in them. Um, individually, you can get like £10, but they'd obviously take longer to sell. Um, but yeah, so, you know, not as much profit as I wanted, but it's still profit. I'm happy to get them out the door. Um, this was a large bundle of Ben 10 figures and an Omnitrix watch, which worked. And um, I showed it working, I believe, in one of my pictures. Yeah, there we go. I showed it lighting up. And uh, I got £29.99 for these uh, with £2.99 postage. And it actually had a rare figure. The, uh, the green one was missing an arm. Uh, well, actually, I had the arm, but the arm was off. Um, but I did say in this one that, you know, arm has come off but it's still included and could be repaired so uh, yeah so I, I, this was all part of that one pound bundle believe it or not um, and the, they were mostly Ben 10 so yeah 30 quid for these uh, 20 quid for the two Ghost Riders 5 pound for the Archangel I got 6 pounds or 7 pounds for two Wolverines so I'm well over 50 quid in profit on this uh, or 50 quid in sales I should say for a one pound outlay so that's that's fantastic um, that's the final one of my eBay sales for the week. I'm going to jump to Amazon. Okay, so first of all, uh, there was this one here, which was the Settlers 2 10th Anniversary Edition. And uh, I got £8.97 for that. That was actually £6.94 for the item and £2.03 for shipping. Um, it cost me £1.60 to send. So, um, yeah, I've, I've made... I've made you know a clear six pounds on that, so that's pretty good. And lastly, on Amazon, a DVD called Serial Mom, uh, starring Kathleen Turner, and I sold that for nine pound twenty-six, or really eight pound plus one twenty-six postage. Um, so I've made I don't know maybe seven pound profit on that, which was pretty good. So yeah, um, that's it. That's my sales for the week. I've tried to keep this a little bit shorter because um, I know I can go on a bit and it's not to everybody's taste. So yeah, thank you for watching and uh, remember my channel and 
all good honest resellers channels will always have free information because free information is good. So thank you very much for watching. Cheers.